Welcome back, students, to another monthly recap. A lot has happened during the month of March, so let's go over some important events. This month was the LA Marathon, so congratulations to SRLA. The spring play has been a major success so far, so make sure to not miss out on Polis first ever musical. On April 4th and 5th, Debate attended their first hybrid tournament. The team did really well. Let's take a look. I actually think the debate class is doing very well for what, what happened. We're very proud. I'm really proud about how much you guys have all grown. Yeah. I think that this year's, uh, this load of uh, kids, I think that they're actually doing something really well. I think that the coach is doing a very fantastic job. We got three teams out of four into the semis for our novice, and that's only the freshmen. And captains can always improve. You captains <laughs> can always improve. We can get four out of four. But three out of four is a good start. Like everyone on the team should debate. Oh yeah, no fully. And no, you know what? No, but you know what's good? Everybody, even the people who didn't go in, they, they did really well. I cannot wait to see what awards that they get. And I just hope that they're not baffled by what they need to improve on. And I hope that because they're not on Zoom anymore, that they can participate fully and actually enjoy what's going on here. Attention seniors, the month of March has unraveled into a series of fortunate events. Have a look at our senior information video on Polis Media. As many of you are beginning to drive, we thought we would help you by letting you know places where you can park. Let's check out a few convenient places for students to park. So you're growing up and now you drive. Now you can take yourself to school. Great, but where should you park? Recently, the huge and free parking lot from the courthouse has been shut down, and it isn't coming back for our public parking. Let's go over the parking spots nearby. Starting off, we have the parking spots right in the front. These spots are very convenient, but they come with a price. Don't be tricked by these signs. This is a loading zone only. You park here at your own risk. Don't believe me? Ask Seth. Your next nearest option is right across the street. Majority of the time, there are limited spaces available, and more importantly, this is a two hour parking zone. However, nobody really ever gets a ticket over here, but still, be aware. Also, good luck playing cross the road to get to your car. Farther down the street are more parking spots. These places are much less prone to getting a parking ticket. Your chances of getting a ticket are a quarter of the two previous locations. Though, these spots are much farther down, which can be inconvenient and also less secure as your car is out of view. So you want to be stress-free of tickets. The towpass parking structure located right next door to Bono's Pizzeria is a location our school rents out for our students and staff to park in. To obtain a parking pass, you must ask for the parking form at the front desk of our school. Once you fill out the form and provide a printed copy of your driver's license to the front desk, they will turn it in. Keep in mind, the people from the towpath structure collect the forms around the beginning of each month. We hope you can find a safe and secure place to park. The students have spoken. This is what this year's most popular classes are. Thank you for joining us this time on our monthly recap. For more updates during the month, be sure to check out our YouTube channel, Polis Media, because if we know it, we show it.